write an input output table for the circuit. So to do this, we'll make a table and list all the possible inputs and then compute all the possible outputs R. So we have P, Q, and R. And so the possible inputs uh, for P and Q are pretty easy to figure out. So one case is when they're both 1. Another case is if P is 1 and Q is 0. Another case would be if P is 0 and Q is 1. And the last case would be when both P and Q are 0. Okay, so now let's just do one at a time. Let's start with the case where uh, both P and Q are 1s. So I'm actually going to go over here and write down the 1s in our diagram. And we just work left through right. So as this 1 here passes through this NOT gate, it turns into a 0. Right? True becomes false. 1 becomes 0. And so now we have 1 and 0 entering the OR gate. OR will be true if at least one of these is true. So we have at least one 1, so the result is 1, right? because 1 is true. And so the result uh, for 1, 1 is 1. So the output is 1. Okay, let's go ahead and do 1, 0. So for 1, 0, uh, again, we write the 1 here and the 0 here. And let's see, a 0 goes through the NOT gate, it becomes a 1. And then we have two 1s entering the OR gate, so they're both true, so we're going to get a true result. So again, we have a 1 here for the R. All right, let's go ahead and do 0, 1. So now P is 0 and Q is 1. So 1 goes through the NOT gate, it becomes a 0. And we have two zeros entering the OR gate, so that's going to end up giving us zero, right? They're both false and ends up being false. That's the only time the OR gate uh, will give us zero is if both entries are zero. So I'll go ahead and put a zero here. All right, let's clean this up and do uh, the last one. The last case is if both are zero, so zero, zero. Zero goes to the NOT gate. It turns it into a one. And now you have zero and one entering this OR gate. So in this case, uh, at least one of these is true, so the result is true. And so here our output signal is 1. And that would be uh, the output table, input output table for the circuit in this diagram. I hope this video has been helpful.